So let's analyze quest number 35. Let x be a two-digit number and y be another two-digit number formed by interchanging the digits of x. That means you are reversing the digits of x, you are getting y. And x plus y is the greatest two-digit number. What is the greatest two-digit number? Which is 99. So we know that sum of these two numbers is equal to 99. And the question is asking, what is the number of possible values of x? How many numbers are possible for x? That's a question. So in these type of questions, okay, whenever you have a two-digit number and you are reversing it, you are getting another number, you are adding them or subtracting them. In these type of questions, it is always a good idea to start this question or start solving this question by assuming that let the number x be a b because it's a two digit number i'm using two variables a and b okay b is the unit digit and a is a tens digit okay and i know y is nothing but you reverse these digits so it's gonna be b a where a is a unit digit and b is a tens digit and it's clearly given that the sum is equal to the greatest two digit number which is 99 sum of x plus y is 99 and there is a common mistake students do is they, they, they write as what AB plus BA is equal to 99. So can you identify what is the mistake here? This is an equation you are writing here, right? This is an equation. So does it, does it, is it right here to write AB plus BA is equal to 99? What do you mean by AB in an equation? A is multi, it means what? A is multiplied by B. A times B. B multiplied by A. That is not correct. Here A, B represent that two digit number. Okay. And B, A represent the two digit number. It's not A into B or B into A. So this is not the right way to represent it. So in these kind of situations where you need to use this two digit number in an equation, it is always good idea to use their place values as well. Okay. So A, B can be written as, you can use the place values. See B, where B is a unit digit, A is a tens digit. So the value of this number is going to be A, which is a tens digit multiplied by 10 plus B, which is a unit digit multiplied by 1, which is equal to 10 A plus B. So this is the value of this two digit number. Make sense? So I'm going to give you an example. See, 25. How do you find this is two digits are there, right? 2 and 5. 25 is formed of two digits. And how do you get the value of 25? You can use a place value. Digits along with its place value will form, will give you the value of that number. See, 2, which is the place value is 10. So, 2 multiplied by 10 plus 5, which is the unit digit, place value is 1. So, that is how you get 20 plus 5. That's the value of the number 25. The same concept I'm using here. Got it? So, it's 10a plus b will be the x can be denoted as 10a plus b. Similarly, y can be denoted as what 10b plus a you are reversing it b is the tens digit a is the unit digit so it's 10b plus a now it's easy now you can easily form the equation now it makes sense right you are adding these two are getting 99 so it's going to be 10a plus b plus 10b plus a is equal to 99 so you can adding the like terms 10a and a will give you 11a plus 11b is equal to 99. You can see 11 is common. You can cancel it out. So you can say a plus b is equal to 9. I'm canceling 11 throughout. I can say a plus b is equal to 9. This is the condition. a plus b should be a is the a and b are the digits, right? Sum is equal to 9. And the question is asking what is the possible, how many numbers are possible for x? Or what is the number of possible values of x? And what is x here? x is nothing but it's a two-digit number, a, b, right? This is x. Now you can think about what are the possible numbers here for x. The sum of the digits should be a and b should be 9. You can start with what uh, x is 1, or a is 1, and b is 8. See, 1 plus 8 is 9. So this is one of the possible number, 18. Then... 27, 2 plus 7 is 9. You just need to find out two numbers, A and B, the sum is 9. That's it. 2 plus 7, 3, 6, 36. 3 plus 6 is 9. 45. Again, going forward, 54 is also true. 54. 
81 you cannot consider 90 because why you cannot consider 90 is when you reverse it you are getting 9 because clearly it's given that y has be another two digit number for that reason you cannot consider 90 because when you reverse it you are getting only a single digit so these are the possible values of x 18 27 36 45 54 63 72 81 right the total is gonna be how many values are there four plus four eight so eight values are possible so your answer is option d is the right answer for this question option d so so the main important part is if you are able to form this equation then you are you are done you will be easily able to get the answer see this is a this is a challenging part if you're able to form this equation that's it see this 10a plus b plus 10b plus a is equal to 99 you can also like i'm just uh like you can also cross check like you know we, let's say x is 18 you can just cross check x is 18 y is going to be reverse 81 adding them up you will get 99 see or you can take any number let's say 27 27 reverse at 72 so it's 99 that's it so it will be true for any of the number you don't need to cross check it i just uh, uh like you know uh, show you as an example 